Hi guys from YouTube and all my followers. Um, this time we're gonna test the DS708 on a Nissan Micra. This is the K12 engine and is a 2005 model. Um, the car came to me with... Uh, it's, it's quite common this problem uh, where the car can't uh, can't secure the idle and it just shuts itself off. Uh, the idle becomes really erratic. Uh, the RPMs really bounce really bad, and uh, and eventually the the engine just stalls. Um, the problem has been now resolved. Um, as you can search on some of the forums, um, one of the big problems is leaks on an intake system which the car was actually reporting that as a P1171. Um, all that has been sorted, um, although the problem was still there. The, the, the was not as bad, but the engine, the, the, the RPMs were really, the idling was really bad, and the, the car would still shut itself off. Um, also, when uh, pushing the accelerator down, um, the engine would rev up eventually it would take a little while to, to start to rev up a few couple seconds and then would stop at about 3000 rpms would stop there like if it was uh, uh, struggling to, to to go up and then all, all of a sudden it would go um some place they suggest um a campbell champing some of the teeth um i've checked all that everything was fine um so I've done all the, 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 the physical checks that should have been done. Uh, so we're going to now see, and I will go through on the menus of the DS708, exactly what I've done after all the, 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 the physical problems have been resolved. Uh, was the, the, the leaks were not that bad, uh, but what was one or two leaks in there on the intake system. Um, I've cleaned the, th the throttle body while everything was opening as well. Um, and, um, and so let's going to start the engine. So there we go. You might not be able to hear the engine, but uh, you can see the RPMs are stable, no problems. So there we go now to the DS itself. Okay, let's go now to Asian. Load the Nissan. Now, you have two options here. If you go by system, basically it will take it to here. From here, you can do an auto scan, or you can go through the control units. Here, will give you pretty much all the control units available for Nissan's. So obviously, this Micra doesn't have half of this, uh, and you have the NAT system. So the, the easier ways to do is to go by vehicle. So this is pre-selected already because I've selected earlier, so it just memories itself. So the vehicle name and we scroll it down to micro. Now type is the K twelve model is previous two thousand and five. So it is a two thousand and five base is I think is March. So the the, the next there is from May forward. So this is March, so we need to go on there, yeah? And we'll press OK. Now, when you go to AutoScan, obviously we'll just go through the, the, the possible issues, but now... Hang on. This is something's not right here. Oh, sorry, man. I'm actually wrong. Is that one in there? I do apologize. So was that actually after 2005, uh, after May. Uh, so basically it will give you only the issues that might be available for this car. Uh, I believe they are actually all except the intelligent key, the transmission, because it's a manual, and all the other issues they actually are on the car, so they can be scanned. Um, for the... 
uh, there's one interesting thing when you go to PCM. Um, I'm not going to make this video too long, but the, the machine actually connects to all the ECUs on the list, except the transmission and the, and the intelligent key. So, on the BCM, which I believe is for the body computer, uh, you have a few options here. And uh, one of the options is actually to change how the car behaves. So you can actually change um, auto lock settings, you can change um, security settings, um, and there's a few other things that you can actually go through and actually um, get it changed uh, on some other menus. So um, there's, a, there's a few options that you can go through this. Um, is, is it's quite good on on these Nissans. Uh, now for the engine, I'll go very quick through this. Um, so after everything I've explained to you that I've done on the engine, my next step was to do the following. And um, the reason why I'm going to show you is to actually show you that the actually uh, machine can actually do that on these Nissans. Um, so you have the, the, the kind of uh, the common list with the ECU part number, the codes, the risk codes, live data, active tests, as you all know. Now, when you go, the, the interesting bit is this one, and this is what you can do. And um, Full pressure release that basically release the pressure on the, on, the, on the full system. You have the number five is self learning. Um, is, this is actually to delete all the learning values on ECU. Um, so like your um, throttle body adjustments and all that. And then what I've done on this one was actually these two here. Number three, number four was number three, number four. Um, Sorry, I'm lying now. It was number two and number four. Uh, so the idle air volume learn. I've just redone this. Um, and I've done the target ignition time adjustment. Which I adjusted by two degrees if I'm not mistaken. Um, and after I've done that, the car has been running spotless. It's running fine, no problems at all. Um, so you can do a few couple things on the... Uh, on this uh, on this car uh, with this machine, so it's, it's it's I was quite happy with it, with everything I could have. I was quite happy. I'm quite happy with the uh, with what uh, the machine can do on these uh, makers. And um, and that's it, guys. Um, I know it's not a long video this time. Uh, it's, it's only a few ECUs. There's not a lot to go through, but I think it gives you an idea of. Uh, what the machine can do and uh, and it might help you as well if you have a similar problem so thank you guys for watching the video uh, see you next time